Hello, everybody. It is Badge Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers Tips video. This time, showing off a pretty interesting little concept I came up with over the New Year's weekend as I was taking a break from doing YouTube stuff and just messing around on Space Engineers. And I came up with this idea. So I'm building a ship right now, just one I want to use in survival, possibly, just trying to build it up with a few mods attached. And I kept running into this one deal where I do this spiral staircase to separate my, basically all my floors with, or the different decks. And I got to thinking there's got to be a faster way of putting, you know, getting from one deck to the other in case of an emergency. And I remembered this old thing that we used to do back in old space engineers, which was the shaft. So yeah, this is just like the very first corridor block ever made. Uh, turned on its side and you just get to jump down in you can hear right here I've got two timer blocks going that has to do with what down there because I've solved a few problems and The way the shaft works is with a gravity in place. You just jump down You have instant access to the next floor now This does create a few problems, especially when you start getting into bigger ones because let's say you've got multiple floors you jump down the shaft you're going to hurt yourself on the way down. Uh, you're basically going to just about kill yourself. And that's not optimal. That's not cool. That That's, that's just not going to work out for us. So, how do I solve this? Oh, uh, these two timer blocks. One timer block is uh, shutting doors, which we have over here. And then it activates this timer block, which in turn activates this one. They're set to like two seconds and it auto closes the doors. So instead of having this giant tube here, which has, like I said, a problem, it actually has two. The one problem is the fall, which is going to kill you. The other one is you don't really have much control going in between decks without using your jetpack, And that still creates a whole lot of issues because you have to almost get to the perfect head height in order to just walk through a door. So the easiest way to solve this was with a, like I said, a couple timer blocks and a door system. You just open, and within about a few minutes, the door auto closes. So how this works, you just hop in to the floor you want. And I can control which door I want to go to. Now it's a little janky at times, but I mean, it's not like clang worthy. If you're trying to get down floors, and as slow as I did that, you can see here how this door system works. Between each floor, you're going to have a door set up. But if you're sitting there saying, well, this how, how fast could you possibly get down here? Let me explain something. You, you hop in here, and let me show you. You can get down pretty quick through separate floors, and you're not creating so much momentum that it's killing you. Like I said, this is a pretty good little option. And if you really wanted to get technical with it, like on a ship or a station, you could add two of these side by side and just have one gravity generator pushing up all through and your main gravity generator going on so that when you walked in, your character would immediately flip up and then just start traveling through. Almost like a, a fast tube, I guess is what you could call it. But like I said, the way these are set up, it's actually pretty simple. So when you set up your actions... Uh, one, it closes the doors and you have the doors set in a group. And then you have your timer block number two starting when you do that. And so when this runs through its little countdown, which is like one second, it will then not only close the doors, but it also sets up the other timer block, which then starts timer block number one. And it just loops at that point. So you can just loop this through. Uh, if y'all want to see a in-depth video on how to create a looping timer block let me know and i'll just show y'all how to make a loop system work to where it, it does an action every so often so you can make blinking a lot you can make not just lights that blink but you could actually make different things happen just sitting there going back and forth and i'm probably going to mess around with the programmable blocks a little bit more but yeah that's the idea of a fast tube system to get down your floors very quickly. Like you could put this at an emergency angle. So if you're trying to get to a bunker, you can just start dropping down and uh, it would automatically start locking the doors in place. So it'd be hard for anybody to come after you at that point. And you're not dying from the deal 
from the fall. It's like this is how Mace Windu dies. Okay, guys, he just drops him down here and it's a long way down. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. And as always, I am Badger Wild saying stay safe. Stay frosty. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.